Good morning, my dear students. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Welcome to a new English lesson. Let's start our lesson by listening to our school vision. The school vision to prepare creative, well-educated students who are able to establish civilized, aware, reserved society, stick to the authentic morals and values, in addition to using the modern technology. you to look at these two pictures and tell me what can you see of course school very good and teacher very good can you tell me what will happen if we don't go to school very good we can't learn we can't understand anything about the, the world around us good job قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن سلك طريقا يلتمس فيه علما سهل الله له به طريقا إلى الجنة As we are Muslims, we have to follow our Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Our value of this week, the importance of education This is our lesson today, module 6 Time for Science, Project Part 2. To start with, here are our objectives for today. By the end of this video lesson, you will be able to recall the features of a suggestion for a book, consolidate the usage of AND, BUT, AND OR in a sentence, Write a suggestion for a book. Now, in this lesson, you will need to open your book on page, student book page 73, workbook page 63. Pause the video and get ready. Here we have a beautiful quote. Can you sort out this quote? Yes, let's read. A leader, a reader, tomorrow, today. All what you have to do to pause the video and put these words in the correct order. Let's see. Very good. Today, a reader. Tomorrow, a leader. Good job, my dear students. Do you remember... The text of the previous lesson, one text is about Leonardo da Vinci and the other one is about Thomas Addison. Do you remember the main features? Don't worry, let's remember. Yes, here we have the text elements. Here we have to write, to put photo of the book. Next name of the book or the title number three write a description of the book what is the it about suggestion to read it so and the other meaning what can you learn from it Here we have a plenty of books and the book of the day is Bill Gates. Who is he? 
Here we have the writing process. There are five stages. Let's remember them together. Number one, make notes. Write your ideas. Number two, write the first draft. Number three, revise. Number four, edit. And finally, write the final draft. Here you need to open your workbook on page 63, activity 2. Let's answer the questions. What is the name of the book you suggest? Here you have to look here at the book, the title, yes. Bill Gates, who is he? Very good. What is it about? Number three, what can you learn from it? Let's see the answer. What's the name of the book? You suggest Bill Gates, who is he? What's it about? Information about his great inventor and the importance of his invention. What can you learn from it? You can learn information about his life, his childhood and his family his personality and his work. Here is the fact file of Bill Gates. We have American, chairman of Microsoft, William Henry Gates III, Windows, October 28, 1955. The full name, here you have to stop the video and put the facts in the correct place. Let's see the answer. Full name, William Henry Gates, three. Nationality, American. Date of birth, October 28, 1955. Job, chairman of Microsoft. Invention, Windows. That is the system which operates the computers. About Bill Gates. Complete these statements about Bill Gates. Use but and or. His real name is William Henry Gates III. Space, we know him as Bill Gates. But, very good. Here you have to pause the video and answer the rest of questions. Let's check the answer together. Number two. Is Bill Gates American or British? Very good. Here we have two uh, options. So we have to use or. Bill Gates has two daughters and a son. Yes, here an addition. Number four, Bill Gates is a chairman of Microsoft, but he founded the company with his partner, Paul Allen. Good job. The writing process, revise and edit. Let's see a few examples. Number one, Bill Gates made computer easy to use. No, look at the word written in red. We have a problem here. So we can say made computer. The correction is computers. So here we have plural singular mistake. Spelling mistake. Bill Gates wrote his first software were program with when he was 13. Yeah, Bill Gates wrote, starts with letter W, his first software program when he was 13. Punctuation mistakes like he is hardworking, intelligent, and, found and confident. Yeah, here we have to use commas. He is hardworking, comma, intelligent and confident. Was Bill Gates born in New York? Look at the first letter here. We have to write it in W or in capital. We have to write it in capital letter. So we have to write capital W capital. Bill is a name, so we have to write it capital. Gates born in New York. Wrong tense form of, of the verb. Bill Gates start Microsoft in 1975. The correct 
form is Bill Gates started Microsoft in 1975. Bill and Melinda Gates have two daughters but a son. Bill, the correction is Bill and Melinda Gates have two daughters and a son. Now, my dear students, look at this text. Here we have 10 mistakes. Let's find these. What are these mistakes? We have one plural singular mistake, two spelling mistakes, two punctuation mistakes, and capitalization mistake one. Yeah, and wrong tense form of the verb two and wrong word two mistakes. Let's see what are these. Now let's see what are these mistakes. Bill Gates, who is he? He invented something who? Oh, stop. Something who? No, we have to use which. Something which we all use today. What is he? What is he? No, something. We can say he on the something, about the something. No, we use it. He is one of the richest man. He is, we can we say one of the richest man? No, one of the richest men in the world. World doesn't write like this. So we have to write world, W-O-R-L-D. Are he lucky? Are he? No. Is he lucky or intelligent? Yes, intelligent. This is a question, so we have to write question mark. Next, read this book. Read, look at the first word of the sentence. So you have to write it in capital R, read. And the, and this book and find find not finding out more about oh about it's not right it doesn't write like this it doesn't wrote like this about a b o u t invention and his life yes we have to put full stop at the end here you need to open your workbook page 63 and write a suggestion for a book for your web page. Use the information in activity to draw a picture. But first, before you write the final draft on your workbook, we would like to insert this sentence. Maybe both. Maybe he is both. Where would that be best fit? So, you can put the sentence here. Bill Gates, who is he? He invented something which we all use today. What is it? He is one of the richest men in the world. Is he lucky or intelligent? Maybe he is both. Read this book and find out more about his invention and his life. Don't forget to write the final draft on your workbook, page 63. You can pause the video for a while to write. Before we say goodbye, let me tell you what we have done today. Today we have recalled the features of suggestion for a book, Consolidate the usage of and, but, or, or in a sentence. Here we have reached to the end of our lesson today. I hope you are enjoying the video. Thank you.